Alright, hey everyone, this is uh, Carter here with a bit of a tutorial for all uh, yes. Uh, if, you, if you might have noticed that I've recently been doing a lot of uh, streaming on JTV. So I thought I would show you guys how I stream my games on JTV. J J J J J <laughs> um, I use two programs for this. I use Flash Media Encoder and oh, I can't remember what the other one's called. Uh, SC, what's it called? SZ, not, not SCFHDSF. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you. Hi, words. <laughs> show you how to how I do it. So first of all, you'll need to download Flash Media Encoder. I use the uh, 3.2 version, which you can see right here. I'll post the link in the description to these downloads. You can download it for Mac and Windows. And I've heard that on slower computers, it's better to to, to download the older version, the 2.5 version. Uh, if I can find that version, I'd, I'll post it in the link in the description. And so once you have this installed, you'll want to head over to scfhdsf now this is this is hi this is the thing that will actually uh, stream your desktop um, the creator did is uh, was created in Japanese but the actual program itself uses English text but if you're using Google Chrome like I am, then it'll have a translate button up here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. So you'll want to go down to the download and go to the binary version for 0 0.41 and down and download the zip file of that. Then what you'll want to do is put it in unzip it to anywhere you want. I have it here in a Oh, it's on, open on this. Oh, not on that monitor. Yeah, I have it here in uh, this f folder. I was too lazy to name it. And then, now, depending on which version of Windows ha you have, if you have 30, if you have 32-bit Windows, you want to click on Install. But if you have 64-bit Windows, like I do, you have to go to you go to Install 64. Now what you want to do here is you'll want to just, you know, run the installation, just agree to everything, and it'll just work. Hopefully, if it doesn't work, I I I'm not sure what to do. There's also an uninstall here if you ever want to un uninstall it. Now, we're not going to do anything else with this. Okay, okay. There is one last thing you'll need to download before you. Uh, start streaming. You want to go go to your JTV thing, so your JTV main page. Then you'll want to click on, you see it'll have these things here, webcam, mobile phone, video game, desktop. I believe you go to desktop and yeah here you go. There are two, uh, JTV gives you some suggestions on what you should use. Uh, Wirecast is extremely expensive, but here in the Flash Media Encoder part, there is they have the download link and they have a config file. Now what that does is it down it gives you like a a save file sort of thing for your Flash me that Flash Media Encoder can open, where then you can stream right to your channel directly from Flash Media Encoder. So if we minimize this. And assuming you've already installed Adobe Flash Media Encoder, da, 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 da. sorry, I had to cut that out quickly. Uh, you'll see here under the Stream to Flash Media Server thing. Uh, oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> First, what you have to do is you go to File, Open, then you open up that uh, file you just downloaded wherever you put it. Then under here, under the Stream to Flash Media Server, you'll see some things open up. You'll get an error. Uh, thing pop up, but it's okay. 
just kind of ignore it. It's it, you're, it'll still work either way. And under the stream to flash mean encoder thing, you'll see some URL stuff. I had to eat those out just in case. I don't know. Don't want you guys to just stream onto my channel. <laughs> and so once you get this uh, set up, you'll can go back to uh, this thing right here, your your SCFH. Then you double click on this, the one with the blue buildings on it. Uh, yeah, just go run. And then this should pop up. Uh, so you'll get a list of programs here. May or may not. I'm I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I don't really fiddle with that because well, all you need to do is once you have that open, is go back to Flash Media Encoder, set the device to SCFHDSF, and it should work then. Well, you'll see your desk. You'll see your desktop on here. And you'll see the void because I, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you can fiddle with the options a bit. Uh, format F V VP six or whatever you want to set to frame rate. I recommend just putting on thirty frames per second. That's what I usually use, unless you're going for higher end first person shooter games. Then I probably would recommend sixty frames per second. Uh, bit rate. I would recommend either 300 or 800. I I tend to go with uh, 300, because it gives a bit. Be it gives a. Bit, it has a better video quality. It it, it it's what you prefer. Um, now, if uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm I'm making this up as I go along. Uh, so you say so now you can actually go ahead and stream your games. So just find whatever you want to stream. So I'm just going to open up my emulators here. Uh, SNES, uh, SNES 9x. Yes, run that. Let's uh, let's get some Donkey Kong in here. This is probably going to lag a lot since I'm using um. Cam Studio, which is no good for this sort of stuff. Yeah, we don't care. So now, once you have that open, uh, I'm just gonna move that over to the side a bit. Is you go back down to Flash Media Encoder here, and okay, it's you'll f you what you want to do is in the input size set it to a big enough resolution that you can that you can um, fit your I don't care <laughs> that you can fit uh, your game into there we go uh, I'm gonna move it down here it, it's kinda tricky because I'm trying to fit everything onto this one screen oh wait this is this is not working Here we go. This will work. This will do. All right. So, once you got this all worked out, <laughs> uh, one thing you'll want is why is this sending 650? Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Um, you want to go down to make sure you have crop on. Now, what this will do is when you go over to these two window things right here, you'll see you have um. I'm gonna shrink that. When you put it down to uh, like these percentage things, it won't really change much in your stream. It just makes it easier for you to see what you're doing. Now, what you can do is, oh, I actually have to put it on a higher percentage to see the. I'm sorry, my bad. All right, now what you'll see here, right around the top here, you'll see these little uh, grabby mabobber things that you can use to crop to exactly what you want it to, to uh, stream so let's put it to the top here and we'll go down here get this right there and scroll down we'll box that right up there Scroll up, move over here, and we'll, well first of all, we'll grab it.
grab it. There we go. And you'll just box that in. You'll just sort of box it in. And so now if you go to your output, you'll see that it only has um, this, the, <laughs> it'll have your game window, no, uh, ho well if you did it right, you won't have any of the window edges around it. And if you're doing a widescreen game, you'll be able to actually get the full widescreen effect on JTV, which is nice. And then what you want to do is make sure you have audio on, which I don't because if I put it on then Cam Studio will freak out at me. And then just set it to um, Stereo Mix if you have it. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. And then once you have that all set up, you have the volume how you want it. Then you just go to Start and there you go, you're streaming on JTV. Now, one thing that I know a lot of people have problems with is the sound the you can go away now <laughs> is the sound for streaming um now what i have now ugh. now how you would stream both the game sound and your microphone is by using something called stereo mix um how you get that is if you go to your spear thing here you right click it and then you see you have playback devices and recording devices. You go to recording devices and you get this thing that pops up and if you'll see you'll get microphone, line in, SD thing, yada yada yada. Um, now some motherboards do not have uh, stereo mix and I know that Dell laptops also do not have stereo mix. They disable it on their computers for some strange reason what I have is a USB sound card so it has stereo mix on it and sound cards are are cheap nowadays no one really buys sound cards so they go on for cheap and you can see you got the volume here or whatever now a, now a stereo mix also might be called what you hear or something along those lines now a stereo mix will play back what the speaker what's like the speakers here and in the speakers oh this is sorry I have to go to my uh, uh, that is it <laughs> never mind now what you want to do in the speakers here is uh, you go you double click on it first open it up go to levels then you'll see all these bars right here you'll see a microphone and you want to unmute that now you will hear yourself in your speakers like you'll it, like if you have a headset on you'll hear your voice but now people will hear the game and you so yeah that's all there really is uh... hopefully i helped out a little bit hopefully i made sense somewhat <laughs> um, and yeah, so I will see you guys l -l -l later. Bye.